this, Nisa Rodriguez. This will be your second, well, I shouldn't say your second fight, your second professional fight here at Madison Square Garden, but you've had an extensive amateur career here. Now tell us you're going to be fighting a middleweight. Is it uh, Janine Garcia? Uh, yes, so this is the second fight, and um, we're coming down away little by little, and it's, it's going to be a great fight. And, and how is the weight? Is this more uh, the weight division you fight out of? I know I know. before you were having problems getting an opponent, so you had to go quite up in weight. Yeah, so I started at 168. Right now we're at 160. I'm a, a little underweight, so now we're going to keep dropping little by little and whatever you know comes our way, whatever we have the opportunity for. Uh, do you know much about your opponent? Um, not much. I, I know she's from Albuquerque, and that's pretty much the just of it because it's hard. I have a full-time job on top of being a boxer. There's a full-time job on top of being a mom. is another full-time job. So I leave that all to my team, to my trainer, Jimmy Sosa, and uh, my manager, Keith Sullivan. They pick them. They tell me where to go, and I just show up. And I was taking a look. Your hands look great. I know the last one, it might have been a little bruise on uh, on the hands, but everything good? Yeah, but it, it comes with the, the line of duty. It comes with everything that you're you're accustomed to, whether it's in a job or in boxing. So it's just one other thing to get over. You know, and to end this, talk a little bit about, as you said, you're doing a lot between the mother and your nonprofits. You want to talk a little bit about that? Um, it's a beautiful thing. I'm able to do it on work time. This has to do with the job. It's New York City Cops and Kids, and it helps all of our kids. And it's definitely in a need. If you look at what's going on in New York City, there's a high crimes and homicides, assaults, and, and adolescents. And it's a shame that we're losing our kids to the streets. So this is a safe place for them, a place to help pay for college, a place to keep them exposed to all the opportunities they have, and it's, it's something that we should have in every borough. Well, thank you for your service. That's really special. And say a shout-out to all your fans. I want to thank everybody, New York, Puerto Rico, the world. June 8th is going to be a great fight. Thank you. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from the theater at Madison Square Garden. We'll see you Saturday, June 8th. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.